Hey, abiding presence. Normally, we would receive new members in person during worship, celebrating those that have chosen to make abiding presence their home congregation. As we all adapt to new ways of being a community of faith, these new members are being received virtually this weekend. Please take a few minutes to welcome our newest members. These persons have come to us from other churches and desire to make public affirmation of their baptism. Adam Bud Reck and Chris Christian, Sue Flug, Daryl Johnson, Grant Mulig, and Jessica Jimenez. Let us pray. Merciful God, we thank you that you have made us your own by water and the word in baptism. You have called us to yourself, enlightened us with the gifts of your spirit, and nourished us in the community of faith. Uphold us and all your servants in the gifts and promises of baptism and unite the hearts of all whom you have brought to new birth. We ask this in the name of Christ. Amen. I ask you to profess your faith in Christ Jesus, reject sin, and confess the faith of the church. Do you renounce the devil and all the forces that defy God? I, I renounce them. them. Do you renounce the powers of this world that rebel against God? I, I renounce them. them. Do you renounce the ways of sin that draw you from God? I, I renounce them. them. All together, I invite us to boldly confess our faith using the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. You have made public affirmation of your faith. Do you intend to continue in the covenant God made with you in holy baptism to live among God's faithful people, to hear the word of God and share in the Lord's Supper, to proclaim the good news of Christ through word and deed, to serve all people following the example of Jesus and to strive for justice and peace in all the earth? I, I do, do, and I, I ask, ask God, God to help me and guide me. Guide me. People of God, do you promise to support these sisters and brothers and pray for them in their life in Christ? If so, answer, we do, and we ask God to help and guide us. We welcome you and rejoice with you in the life of baptism. Together we will give thanks and praise to God and proclaim the good news to all the world. Amen. Now, as we continue to return to some sense of normalcy, when you see these newest members, please be sure to welcome them as they worship and serve alongside you. And remember, you are the abiding presence of Christ in the world, and together we are seeking God and serving others in new ways with new members. Amen.